Other news now, and a major crackdown on crime is coming for a local university. Follows two shooting incidents in three days at Elizabeth City State University in what was a violent week on college campuses. The latest Saturday night when 23-year-old Jake LaMole was shot near a residence hall. He's expected to be okay, but the shooter is still on the loose. Campus police want you to look at these two pictures. They want to interview these two in connection with the Saturday night shooting. That shooting near Butler Hall, along with Thursday's shots fired incident east of campus, have students worried, and police now doing something about it. Fox 43's Andy Fox has the latest on the crime crackdown on campus. Gates are closed at Elizabeth City State University after two shootings and two campus lockdowns. You want to get on this campus after 6 p.m.? Go to the front gate. Thursday night, shots fired in the air here at University Tower on the campus of Elizabeth City State University. The campus put on lockdown. Then Saturday night here outside Butler Hall, a 23-year-old student shot in the thigh, treated and released from the hospital. The campus again put on lockdown. Police say the shooters were not students. Bianca Herring did not find out for an hour what was going on. How long after the shooting here did you find out what had happened from the university? About an hour. About an hour. An hour that long, huh? Yes, sir. So what do you think they should do? Um, first, I think that they should sound the big alarm that they have on campus. Also get that email sent out as soon as possible. Campus Police Chief Sam Beeman reassessing security on campus, changing shifts for peak time police presence, more walkthroughs in dorms. Increased vehicle stops. We shut the entire campus down at 6 p and we set up vehicle stops in front of the police department where we have a police officer that will allow only ECSU students and faculty and staff, and they will all have to show IDs. But it's an open campus, easy to get into. Our campus is gated. It's not gated 100%, but the gating that we do have helps deter with people coming on campus. However, there are some areas where people can have accessibility through foot. So that remains a concern about people on foot traffic coming on who don't belong on the campus. Yes, that is a concern. We're working on that. Signs don't keep out weapons. That's a problem with this campus. It's so easy just to walk on. You don't need a car to cause trouble. In Elizabeth City, Andy Fox, Fox 43 News. And for more on this story, log on to fox43tv.com and click this story on the homepage.